All right. Well, yesterday was um, mine and Tony's anniversary, and it was also her birthday. And uh, I believe in consolidation of dates. That's why we got married on her birthday. One last thing you got to remember, if I forget her birthday and our anniversary, I'm in deep trouble because they're on the same day. And uh, we're going to this new restaurant, well, new for us, uh, Cafe Shiraku, which is located on Federal Highway, kind of right in between Oakland and um, Sunrise. And I've had a lot of my friends talk about this place for the last several months, so I wanted to check it out. Shiraku, Shiraku is the name of a Japanese artist. Actually, I've detailed the story in here from you as well about that. But, um, you know, they have a four-course deal, and I figured, man, why not? With uh, ten of us there, we can order everything on the menu with this. Everybody gets to choose between a soup or a salad, and they had two soups. The cold so corn soup was definitely the winner here. The lobster kind of consomme was okay. A couple people complained it was a little fishy. Hey, fish is from the ocean. It's supposed to be a little briny. It's supposed to be a little fishy. I don't mind that, as long as it's not fishy kind of in a bad way. And uh, this wasn't in a bad way. Uh, really nice. And then the beet salad, very good. The Parmesan crisp, kind of uh, a nice little compliment to that. Uh, but uh, of the three, the corn soup, definitely the winner for me. And then on to the appetizers. For appetizers here, you know, if you have pork belly on the menu, man, that's what I'm having. Especially if it's special occasion. It's something I don't eat every day. I have salad for lunch. So for dinner, when I go out, man, I can eat whatever the heck I want to. And the pork belly was outstanding. Definitely the best of the appetizers. And like I said, we had just about everything on the menu. This place is 18 seats, maybe eight tables. We had two big tables in there, just us and another group last night. Usually probably just one server works the front of the house. And then it's just the owner in the back and, uh, you know, this is guerrilla warfare in the restaurant business, man. One person in the front, one person in the back. You, it was a little lengthy some in between some of the courses, but uh, all the food was definitely worth waiting for. And uh, not overly lengthy, just a little bit. That's what you expect when food is prepared fresh. All right, and then uh, let's see for dinner. The, uh, the best thing on the dinner, uh, I should mention the eel puff pastry, too. That's really nice, something you don't really see too often, and a baked eel pie on the menu. So we had to try that. I'm a big eel fan in a sushi restaurant. The eel sauce, the barbecue, is the sign of a great sushi restaurant. And this was kind of like a take on eel sushi, but on top of a puff pastry, the eel slices, a little mozzarella cheese, and then that eel sauce. But the eel sauce was outstanding. I understand the chef owner here also is a very uh, talented sushi chef, a young guy. He worked for Daniel Bolu and trained uh, in the kitchen there in one of his restaurants. And this restaurant's been open for three and a half years. I'm surprised it's my first trip here. Um, the entrees may be a little less uh, interesting than the appetizers, but uh, my salmon was cooked to perfection, even though it came out of scallops the first time. They only made one mistake on our whole uh, evening last night. You know, that just goes to show you they're human beings working there. But uh, they did get me my salmon out quick. It was cooked to perfection, and the white asparagus on the plate was outstanding as an accoutrement. accoutrement. Um, desserts also spectacular. You know, I have green tea every day here, so when I saw green tea ice cream and jasmine flan, I had to try that. I don't eat dessert all the time, but... Uh, Excellent. Overall, uh, I would definitely recommend you check this place out if you like Asian fusion cuisine. And uh, an interesting corkage policy as well. They charge $5 per glass. And, you know, I don't mind paying corkage. I always bring my own wine to a restaurant almost everywhere I go, so I expect to pay corkage. And uh, as long as you have nice glasses, they served everything in Riedel glassware. So kudos to Shiraku for last night for providing our anniversary dinner. Um, that's what I drank last night. I'm your host. Andrew Lampasone signing off for the Wine Watch, saying, remember, always drink the good stuff first.